the smile, the hugs, the I love you, daddy. Like that's like better than me dunking the ball a million times on somebody. Why did the first time you had a child make you feel like your faith was challenged? Uh, because that's how we were raised. Just the things that can come with, you know, not being married and having a child with somebody. There's things that if you never had a kid before, you wouldn't know. And after you have one or two or three, then you kind of you kind of understand certain things. You have five kids. Correct. Um, uh, five, you know, different partners. Mm -hmm. How challenging is it to create the same family environment that you enjoyed growing up? Uh, actually, when my kids are here, you know, they get that environment. You know what I'm saying? They get that family, get that whatever they would need from their father. I try to be that for them. Not knowing how to raise a kid and trying to learn on the fly, uh, was something I think when people talk about not having kids before you get married, are you ready? I think that that part is something that I want to really instill with my kids. You know, make sure that you are established, make sure you love yourself, make sure you're responsible for your actions before you bring another child into the world. You know, so that's something that I didn't know at a young age, but um, I'm glad I did, you know, despite Five, five moms and stuff like that. I'm glad that I have my five children. They're the best thing that happened to me. What's the crash course in parenting that that requires? I mean, every day you learn something new. You know, for me, uh, it's ten personalities that I'm dealing with. I have what do you mean? Five, five kids, so their personalities and not dealing with, but their moms as well. Uh, so it's just learning, you know, how to uh, co-parent. Also, being a, a serious relationship, and you know, just it's, it's it's it can be difficult at times. But for me, it's just every day, like I said, try to win the day, try to learn how to be a better father, um, even a better co-parent. You know, which can be tough because, I mean, I never had kids before this, so you know, I didn't know what to do. And, and how do you create for a positive dynamic with the other parents? Uh. One is, is communication, and it can be hard at times because um, it's two ways you can look at it. From the mother's point of view, they carried this child for eight, nine months. Um, they feel like this is theirs, you know, so just trying to balance that part. It's our kid, and this is how we should try to handle this, but um, that's something that, you know, we're all still in the process of learning. It's not something that's easy. I'm, if somebody just had one kid, it's, that's their experience. So they're learning on the fly how to raise that child. What would you say is the best part of fatherhood? Every part is the best part. Even, the, the, even when things might not go right, it's just having, like, seeing that kid face, you know what I'm saying? Just the smile, the hugs, the I love you, daddy. Like, that's like, that's like amazing just for your, for your daughter or your son just to say, I love you, dad. Like that's, that's bigger than life. It's better than me dunking the ball a million times on somebody or blocking a shot or ah, doing all that. Just having my, my daughter give me a hug and say, I love you. That, that's like the world. How do you think you've grown through parenthood? Just being more understanding and realizing that, you know, uh, my kids, they're learning themselves. And uh, the fact that I have five kids, you know, it's just like, it's different personality. So I have to really uh, reach each kid where they're at, you know, and that's sometimes for me playing with, you know, being around grown men and stuff like that, I have to go back and really just show my kids. And you know, sometimes that can be a little difficult. Would you have any more? Yes, no doubt. How many more? Well, when I get married, as many as my wife wants. It's a big family. It is a big family, but we gotta bring family back. Family is important in our culture, in our society. So I wanna help be the catalyst for, you know, having strong family values. You know, you look at the different cultures that we see overseas, uh, their, their tradition that they have in their families is just something that would be great 
to have over here in America. And I think that we have to, you know, one, fathers, uh, for myself, I speak for myself, just step up, you know what I'm saying, and just be that, bring that family atmosphere back, that family uh, ties, love, all that stuff. Bring it back, the purpose, all that.